let's get it chocolate. Throw the game when I walk into my block list. Got my ex trying to put me on a What's up guys, it's Coach Abraham back at you with another video. I know I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back. So today I'm gonna be going over if interval training is the best way to increase your top speed and improve your match fitness and why you need to include repeated sprints. I will also be showing you how you can include this into your training so you can become that explosive game-changing athlete and score more goals. So let's dive into it. I'm ready to kick it. Give me the step, but you know I'm a flip it. Right in the shit like I'm Demony Snicket. If she looking What's up guys, it feels good to be back and I apologize for my absence. I've just been very busy with this whole Corona thing going on. I've had a bunch of clientele coming in. But anyways, let's dive into the video. As we know, the game revolves around repeated sprints. In a match, you are constantly sprinting and the athlete who can sustain fast sprint speeds consistently from the first minute to the 90th minute of the match will have a huge advantage over other players. This will ultimately increase a player's chance of scoring more goals later in the match. I want you to stop and think of a time when you felt your opponent had gotten slower nearing the end of a match. They probably did since they were reaching fatigue. So did you have the advantage? Did you feel like you could easily explode past defenders? This is why repeated sprint ability is important. So question, do you feel that interval training is the end all be all for footballers? I cannot deny that interval training is one of the best ways to train for football matches as it's very specific and it is something I have covered in the past in my match fitness video. But what if I told you there is another way of training to improve your game performance and ultimately make you that explosive game changing athlete you want to be? Research has shown that repeated sprint training has been reported to produce greater improvements in best sprint time and mean sprint time compared with interval based training alone. However, it appears that a combination of the two repeated sprint training to improve sprint performance plus interval training to improve the recovery between sprints may be the best strategy to improve RSA meaning not only are you increasing your fitness levels but you're increasing your top speed as well how's that for two birds with one stone and as promised here is your guide on how to perform these and fit them into your schedule and that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, drop a comment. If you're interested in my training programs, I do have them available. My site is up. It's going to be right here on the screen. If you have any questions about what you saw in this video today, leave them down below, like I said. And I'll do my best to get back at you as soon as I can. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram where I do upload daily content. And I'll see you on the next one.